the Toronto Blue Jays have dug deep into their farm once again and pulled out a pretty intriguing name. Hagen Danner was the club's number 18 prospect entering the season and is a catcher turned flank throwing right-handed reliever who tops out at a cool 99 miles per hour. It's clear the Jays have been wanting to get more firepower in the pen by adding guys like Henderson Cabrera who tops out at 99 and Jordan Hicks who has already thrown the fastest pitch in Blue Jays history at 102 miles per hour. So he should definitely fit right in. In Danner's repertoire, he has a fast fastball as mentioned and two other pitches. One being the slider, which he likes to refer to as a slutter, meaning a mix of a slider and a cutter. He throws it the same way as his four-seamer, but this pitch has a lot more horizontal movement to keep hitters off of his fastball. He also throws a 12-6 curve, which he uses the least, but still likes to incorporate it as a get-me-over pitch. For those of you who do not know, a 12-6 curve is a little different than a regular curve. When looking at a clock, the 12-6 goes straight down, while most curves are 11-5 or 2-8. It's the same pitch that Clayton Kershaw has used his whole career to keep batters off balance who are not expecting the different downward break. These three pitches have propelled Danner from a failing offensive prospect to one of the nastiest pitchers in the Jays' farm. In his first year as a pitcher, he pitched to a 202 ERA in 25 appearances and had a solid 10.2 Ks per nine at single A+. He rightfully got the promotion to double A, but 2022 was a lost year for him. He only appeared in four games before being shut down with a UCL strain though he was fortunate enough to evade getting Tommy John and was able to pitch in the Arizona Fall League and was effective in his 7 and 2 thirds innings of work. Now in 2023, Danner has spent time in single A, double A, and triple A, putting his name back on the Jays' map with his impressive 12.8 Ks per 9 and just 2.5 walks per 9. His home runs are a little worrisome with his 8 given up in just 28 and a third innings pitch at triple A, but in a year where the average triple A OPS is above 800, his numbers are still very solid. Now the corresponding move is unfortunately again the demotion of Alec Manoa, who showed signs of his normal self going 6 and 2 thirds allowing 3 earned runs against Boston, and 6 innings of 1 run ball in Detroit. But overall, in his 6 starts back, he has a 4.91 ERA, and now that Hunchin Ryu is back and has performed well, it just meant that by the time the team was done with their 17 games in 17 days, that this would be a huge possibility. It will be interesting to see when the Jays do call him back up. My guess is when the roster is expanded in September if he goes to AAA and performs. But who knows, I think the argument for him being left off of the playoff roster is starting to gain some traction, especially with how many relievers will be coming off of the IL in the next few weeks. Going back to Hagen Danner, hopefully he can bring the same magic that David Schneider brought when he was called up, because the Jays' bullpen has started to find its fair share of injuries, with two of their best relievers in Jordan Romano and Trevor Richards having hit the IL in the past few weeks. Not to mention Chad Green, who is fighting to come back from Tommy John, has just entered concussion protocol and will be sidelined for at least five more days. But what do you guys think about this call up? Let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to respond to each one. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more awesome content just like this, and I will see you all in the next video.